Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, I am going to explain how to use 9box grid methodology for talent mapping and how to use Excel to create such a template and how to plot the talent mapping of your team. Now, if you have never heard of this term, then you might be confused. 9box grid is something that I learned about quite recently as part of my HR work with a government ministry in New Zealand. What happens in a nine box grid is usually within HR, um, you will be monitoring all the people in the organization and you want to know exactly where everybody sits in terms of their performance and potential and identify people who are good candidates for promoting or grooming for next level of roles. So Nine Inbox Grid offers a framework for such a thing where you categorize everyone into three levels of performance and three levels of potential, low to high on both scales. And once you identify them, you then plot them into nine boxes, three by three, uh, and then you will see which people are in which box and accordingly you take some actions. For example, there might be some bad hires who have low performance and low potential, whereas there could be some stars who are high performing and very high potential and you want to identify these members so that you can offer them right career choices and opportunities within the organization. So let's get into the template video where I will show you how the file is set up and how the calculations are done and how the output is created. Even if you are not going to use HR uh, related stuff in your line of work, you might find the formulas and the pivot table approach quite interesting and useful and you can take those ideas and apply them elsewhere in your line of work. Let's get into that. So here is our nine box grid template. Uh, what we have here is a list of employees and their departments and we have categorized them into three levels of performance and potential as I said. So you have uh, some people like for example here Bar is two on performance but he has very high potential whereas uh, Gunnar has very high performance but medium level potential. So we put that and then uh, this is how the nine box grid really looks like. Let me just zoom down a bit so you can actually see this thing. And um, maybe I'll remove these things for a bit. So here we, um, we list per potential on low to high scale as well as performance from under to outstanding scale. And then uh, we can list the names here uh, I've put some text boxes with uh, box names here. So these are anybody in this box will be a star. These are high performance. These are high potential. So these are core players and so on and so forth. And that's bad hires. And um, it is all dynamic. So I can pick a different department. I can see what is happening to those people uh, and uh, in like that. Now this particular worksheet here uses Excel 365's filter function. So if you are using an older version of Excel, you will not be able to use this method. You will have to uh, use the pivot output, which is exactly similar, but uh, slightly less polished, I guess. Uh, and we have here on, on this side potential and on that side performance. And um, names are all shown here. There is a department slicer. I can pick a individual department and it will show me the names. Um, the column widths will remain, but for some weird reason, uh, Excel keeps resizing the rows. So that's um, a, an issue with the pivot table approach, but it still uh, gives you what you want. It will show you the names. So now that the demo is done, let me explain how this all is set up. Data is all entered into a simple table here. The table is they were talent and uh, it's fairly straightforward stuff. Uh, and then what I did is I used two different approaches, one for Excel 365 based users. So you can use filter and whatnot. And the other is pivot tables as I demonstrated earlier. Let me go through the logic here for both of them. Um, it might be easier if I demonstrate that here. So what I will do is we can just use the filter function to filter out anybody who's uh, who have uh, a certain performance and potential. Let's get all the three threes. So we will just say filter talent candidates uh, where talent potential is equal to three. 
uh, and then we want to have both conditions so it needs to be potential is equal to 3 and and will be used uh, done by having that asterisk talent uh, performance is equal to 3 as well so this will give me an array of names these are all the people that have high potential and high performance now instead of seeing them all here in one cell at a time like a spilled array Oh, it would be easier if I can see all the names in one cell comma separated. So that's what the text join function does. Text join can take all of this array and then delimit them with a comma space. Uh, I'll just say true for ignore empty and that'll give me all the names uh, here. If you are new to text join, please watch my other video where I explain text join. Same way, if you are new to filter and other array formulas, please watch my introduction to dynamic arrays video. Both are linked in the cards as well as in the description of this video. So please watch them to understand those individual formulas. But that's the thing. We can use comma. We can also kind of new line these by comma ampersand char 10. Uh, character 10 stands for new line character and uh, that will basically have each name appearing in new line they will not appear in new line until you enable word wrap at that point each name will go into a separate line so this is how it is done if you have a department name let's say i want to see all the three threes in the procurement department i can add a further condition which will be uh, talent department is equal to and then i'll just say procurement so this is now a shorter list of all the names that are listed in the cell l6 so this is the approach that i have used here i have uh, simply written a text join formula and then listed one thing that i've done after text you know, before filter uh, sorry before text join and after filter is i have applied sort so that the names are listed in the alphabetical order and if error is used because certain departments don't have any people in some boxes like for example sales doesn't have anyone here if you don't have anything then you will get a calc error, calc error. Uh, so i've used if error to basically suppress that error message and uh, print blank space so that's how this is done now what if you are stuck up with an excel version where you can't really use these array formulas uh, dynamic array formulas you can still get it this pivot table method works with any version of excel from 2013 onwards you would need power pivot but which is already enabled in 2013 16 and 19 and also office 365 so we will make a pivot table from original data this is the talent data make sure that it is added to data model uh, that step is necessary for for us to use pivot tables uh, with uh, you know these kind of names showing up in the grid and we put performance and potential on x and y axis or rows and columns and a list of names is a measure that i created so to create this we will add a measure i've already done this so i'll just edit this and show you so we will add a list of names and we simply use this formula concatenate x uh, take talent mapping table take the candidate column and just add up all the candidates so because what this does is it's a fairly um, i mean it might be very confusing when you read it for the first time but essentially what this does is it looks at what part of the talent mapping table is available to me at this point in the pivot table because this is saying performance equal to one potential is equal to one so it will kind of filter down talent mapping to just uh, those people and then it will take all the candidates it will uh, concatenate them uh, by using comma and space as a separator and then once that is all done it will also make sure that uh, the names of the candidates are in ascending order so it will be in alphabetical order essentially so that's the measure and you can just use that that will create all the names in the mapping um, like this is potential two and performance one who is who are those people like that and uh, when you have a slicer you can link it and you can just multi-select and whatnot and, and then see who is there so this is how the pivot table option is done both of them offer different choices you can even take the pivot table output and uh, you know make it pretty by linking it to an, a set of cells and uh, formatting them better i've just left that uh, there because the whole point of nine box exercise is to actually 
uh, you know identify the performance and potential of people and then see where everybody is at in a visual template like this and then identify career paths and plans for them so that's the real hard work not creating this but i hope you find uh, this particular template useful please feel free to download it from my website uh, the link is in the video description below and if you have any doubts or questions refer to the instructions and if you still have questions there is a link to my website article where i i will be uh, you know explaining more and uh, you know you can read that up and if you have any more questions you can post a comment there and i will be glad to help thank you so much for watching talk to you again in another video bye bye